Hello and welcome to another Sketchbook Club. This week we're creating a beautiful lobster. We're going to be using watercolours and would you believe it, salt! So for this module you'll need an 8 bead pencil, a set of watercolours, a size 1 and size 6 paintbrush and of course some flaky sea salt. You'll also need some white gouache for highlight but this is optional. So first of all print out your lobster transfer, reference sheets and instructions. Start to transfer your lobster following the instructions and then go over and pencil if the lines are a bit pale. Next, start to add colour. Make a little puddle of water and add some intense colour. Really work your brush into the watercolour. Use thick pigments of reds and oranges, but do keep it watery. Now, sprinkle some salt liberally onto the painted area. Then add a few darker red-brown touches of watercolour onto the salt. Work section by section, trying to avoid working on two pieces next to each other. That way, when you go back to the section next to your first, it won't be quite as wet so the colours won't merge. Be generous with the salt and indeed the paint, keeping it watery and keeping it a lovely mix of warm colours. Now, the really hard bit. You must leave your lobster to dry. It's so hard leaving things alone. Have a cup of tea. Try to forget about it. Once it is dry, shake some salt off and then gently rub off any excess salt leaving behind any smaller pieces which will be secured on by the paint. Now it's time to add the details. Use a thinner brush and add its pointy claws and sharp edges. Have a really good look at the reference sheet and copy some of the squirrely antennae, adding in some darker shades and black for the eyes and all the sort of funny little details of the lobster, including its strange hairy looking legs. Next, completely optional, but I like adding white gouache for highlights. Little dots here and there will really bring the painting to life. Finally, use your finger to flick a size 6 brush to splatter a few paint sprinkles over the lobster, making sure you use really wet paint. It's not essential, but I do think it makes a nice addition. So, your finished masterpiece. When I did this in my studio sessions, they all look really different. You might even like to try painting a blue lobster. This really is a stunning piece of art and looks amazing framed but it will, of course, be a special addition to your now growing sketchbooks. I really can't wait to see them all, so please do use the hashtag Sketchbook Club Lobsters so I can share my favourites and we can all see your masterpieces. Good luck, and I'll see you at the next Sketchbook Club.